Hey guys, let's get into the technical aspects of the JH13 Pro custom in-ear earphones. In each earpiece, this being the right earpiece, there are six balanced armature speakers and then you have a crossover chip, which is this yellow piece right here. The crossover chip is responsible for routing the frequencies to the appropriate speakers. So it's going to route the bass to the two subwoofers, it's going to route the mid-range to the two mid-range speakers, and it's going to route the treble to the two tweeters. So yeah, the, the two tweeters are located up here and they're closer to the eardrum than the other the, the more bigger speakers back here also the, the tweeters the tweeters has their um uh, they have their own sound their sound port or sound tube to be exact and it has its own it has their own filter while the two subwoofers and the two mid-range speakers they all four of them share the same sound port along with sharing the same filter and the, what a filter does is this extra metal piece right here the filter is responsible for shaping the frequency response of the speaker and keep in mind that little piece right here is a filter and this piece that protrude that protrudes out of the the speaker is the sound port of the speaker and later on I'm going to show you how a balanced armature speaker works now let me just show you how a balanced armature speaker works right now so here is a picture of it. This is a balanced armature speaker. It's basically in a box enclosure, as you can see. I'll show you guys here. The the box enclosure. And then you have the the sound port that exits out of the box enclosure, which carries out the vibrations. Alright, in the box enclosure, this is how it, it pretty much looks. You have your terminal that accepts the positive and negative signals. Then you have the, these orange boxes are supposed to be the voice coils. Then you have the magnets, and then you have which is this this U-shaped figure it's supposed to be the armature. And this right here is a driving rod, and up here is the balance is the arm is a flat metal piece which acts as the diaphragm. So the way this works is as the amplifier rapidly alternates the signal between positive and negative the magnetic field between the magnets will change so one magnet would attract the armature while the other magnet pushes the armature away so this happens very rapidly and then it goes up and down at a very fast movement so the armature is going up and down also the, it's, it's also going to transfer this motion, this motion into this driving rod and then it pushes the diaphragm up and down and then this then pushes the the air that's already inside the enclosure outwards in the form of vibrations and then that is how sound is created using a balanced armature speaker so now the sound quality of the JH13 Pro has been said to rival or surpass top high-end quality headphones such as the Sennheiser HD800 the Stax Omega the Sony Orpheus, I mean not the Sony Orpheus, the Orpheus, the Sony R10, the AKG K1000, and other very top quality headphones in, in the price ranges of $1,000 and higher. And keep in mind, those headphones require equipment that is also very expensive to get the most, to get the, the, um, the most performance out of those headphones. These JH13 Pros sound absolutely amazing straight out of an iPod or iPhone or any other MP3 player but they do sound better straight out of a, a dedicated amplifier or a dedicated source such as a digital to analog converter so now um, in my opinion now with the sound quality of these this is a relatively flat neutral response from the bass to the treble the sub bass is emphasized in a 60 hertz or the 50 hertz region but this is a welcome addition because it adds bass impact without actually distorting the rest of the frequencies so with the bass of these it's very quick sounding like it, it sounds a lot more quicker than the Shure SE530s which I used to own the bass is very tight with the JH13 Pros it's not it's not flabby distorted boomy muddy bass that is found in cheap subwoofers as you can obviously tell the price of these earphones you better have extremely tight bass <laughs> so the bass is tight textured deep it goes extremely deep down to 20 Hertz effortlessly it's textured it is um 
it's just wonderfully rendered the mid-range is it's scarily precise it is amazingly accurate I used to own the short SE 530s and I used to love the vocals on that earphone the, the J13 Pros take that vocal to the next level and if there is sibilance in the recording you're going to hear it with the J13 Pros the J13 Pros do not hide anything it's going to show it to you and it can it can make you actually angry because you, you're going to realize how um, poorly recorded your song was in the studio so just like just like any other um high accuracy high end earphone or headphone um nicely recorded music sounds good while poorly recorded music is going to sound bad it's, no these earphones do not try to sprinkle sugar over crap all right so now the tweeters they they reproduce treble wonderfully it is very extended and it has enough it has the perfect amount of sparkle to keep the music alive without actually adding any like listening or air fatigue or whatever the um the the tweeters extend to 20 kilohertz perfectly now the thing about these tweeters or in the, the thing about all these the speakers in this j13 pro these are second generation speakers these are not speakers found in any other earphone because no tweeter or no balanced armature speaker can extend to 20 kilohertz except the speakers found in the JS13 Pro. Also, the speakers in the JS13 Pro respond to the signal impulses from the amplifier much more quicker than any other speaker on the market. So the speed of these speakers are pretty much on par or or they surpass electrostatic speakers. Because those speakers are known for their quickness and response to the, and response in, into the signal responses on the impulses on the amplifier. They respond to the signal a lot quicker than dynamic speakers. And also, the uh, the sound stage of these earphones are absolutely amazing. It sounds as if you're listening to a full size headphone. You don't get that in the in the head sound with other earphones. It's, with the J30 Pros, you get it out of the head sound. It sounds as like the sound is basically surrounding you. The Shure SE 530 is sound constrained and blurred in comparison to the J30 Pro in every frequency. The Shure SE 530s though. They can only maybe compete with the JS13 Pro when it comes to the vocals, and that is pretty much it. The JS13 Pro completely annihilates the Shure SC530s in every other category. So, in the end, my opinion, these are worth it. If you really, if you really, really appreciate music, and you really, really want to hear the music the way it was meant to be, meant to be heard, basically, you should go out and, and basically treat your eardrums correctly treat them right and get a, uh, the J13 Pro you will not regret the purchase you I guarantee you will not regret it the sound quality out of these earphones are magnif magnificent they do set you back a, a very high price of a thousand and ninety nine dollars think of it think of it as a very worthy investment think, think of the sound quality that you're gonna get for the many years to come with with this marvelous earphone so yeah I think it's worth it if you guys have any questions or comments or whatever, just please post them in the comment box. Or you could send me a personal message or whatever. So, guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Later.